Hi everyone! Before we start this video, we wanted to give all of you a big thank you. Psych2Go's vision is to make psychology more accessible to everyone. Today's topic is on six habits that may make people dislike you. Whether you like it or not, there are things that you do that make people dislike you. Have you ever walked into a room and there was a know-it-all in the vicinity? You can whip up a conversation on any topic and that person would act like an expert. Before you can even gather your emotions and thoughts, you already dislike the person. On the other hand, you might be that person that has something to say about everything. The problem is that we aren't always aware of the things that we do that make people dislike us. See if you can spot your behavior on the list we provided in this video. Psych2Go presents to you 6 Habits That Make People Dislike You 1. Acting Too Nice it makes perfect sense that people will like you more when you are extremely kind and nice, right? Sorry to burst your bubble, but not really. Science has proven otherwise. According to a 2010 study by researchers at Washington State University and the Desert Research Institute, people tend to avoid working with people who appear to be too altruistic and unselfish. But why? Turns out, participants in the study said that the unselfish teammate made them look bad while others suspected they had ulterior motives. 2. Asking too many questions When you lead a conversation, asking questions to steer the topic is good. It tells the other person that you are interested in them. You need to be careful not to ask too many though. If you don't reciprocate and also tell them about your own experiences, this can come off as an interrogation. You need to balance the conversation and spill the beans from time to time. The Journal of Experimental Social Psychology found that people start to dislike you when you are the only one asking questions. This could be in direct communication or through written communication like emails. 3. Dropping a personal bomb Being honest is one of the most important things you can do in an interview or when you go out on a date. You want to present the best version of yourself as possible. What you don't want to do though is to disclose something extremely personal too early. This sends the message that you are inappropriate and cannot read the social signs and triggers. For example, it might be inappropriate to share your intimate details about your love life with people you just met. So, what are the things you could share with people you just met? Susan Spencer at Illinois State University found that speaking about hobbies and likes and dislikes will make you seem warmer and more likable. 4. You often hide your emotions Somewhere along in your childhood, it became a common practice to hide and suppress your emotions. This is not the same as controlling your emotions, though. Studies have shown that people react better to a truthful display of emotions than hiding them. For example, someone made you upset because they said something that you think was insensitive. Instead of being passive-aggressive and giving them a cold shoulder, you sit down with them and calmly tell them how you felt when they said what they said. When you understand your emotions, you can express anger and sadness appropriately. Don't keep your emotions inside, it is bound to burst out into the open. 5. Acting like you don't like someone You could potentially turn someone off when you don't express fondness for the person you're meeting. Have you ever heard of the term reciprocity of like? Well, it's actually a phenomenon when we think someone likes us, we tend to like them as well. When we expect people to accept us, we act warmer towards them, according to a 2009 study by researchers at University of Waterloo and the University of Manitoba. Not sure how a person you're interacting feels about you? Act like you like them and they'll probably like you back. 6. Giving a weak handshake Have you ever greeted someone and found they have a weak handshake? Do you find it off-putting when someone cannot shake your hand properly? If you do, you are not alone. When someone has a weak handshake, they come across as someone who cannot manage pressure. In a study done by the University of Alabama, it was found that undergraduates who had a weak handshake were less positive and likable. There are bound to be things that you do that will put people off. None of us are perfect, and we can't please everyone. However, that doesn't mean you can't try and change the way you do things. If you identify with any of the points mentioned, ask yourself these questions. Why do I do the things I do? What beliefs do I have that is causing these behaviors? These questions are the first step to understanding yourself more and altering your beliefs and behavior that do not serve you. What do you think about this list? Share with us in the comments below. Subscribe to Psych2Go for more psychology content. Don't forget to like and share this video with someone who can benefit from it.